Today we're going to talk about this Dynas battery. If you're not familiar with Dynas, they're mostly known for their home storage solutions. So we're going to test this battery to see if it's a good fit and if it's as good as their home storage solutions. Now to begin with, I want to talk about Bluetooth. This battery has Bluetooth obviously, and if you're not familiar with it, once you use it, you're going to love it. In a nutshell, what it does is it lets you talk to the BMS. And the BMS is the brain of the battery. All lithium iron phosphate batteries need it. It's called a battery management system. What it does is it controls everything in the battery. It makes sure that the balance, the cells are balanced. It makes sure that it doesn't have too much power coming in or going out. It makes sure it doesn't get too hot. And especially it doesn't get too cold because a lithium iron phosphate battery can't be charged when it's freezing out. So essentially it protects and monitors the battery. Now with the Bluetooth, you can use your smartphone app, and we're going to be talking about Dynasys app here in a second, to talk to it. So you don't have to use a meter to, you know, touch your terminals and, you know, be all old school. It, or hook up a shunt or something like third party. It lets you see what's going on in the battery in real time. So what you do is you download the app and then um, you connect to it, local connect, and then it scans through Bluetooth, finds the battery, you click on the battery, and it shows you everything about the battery. And their Bluetooth app is pretty powerful. It um, shows you everything that's going on. You can click through here, you can see the basic, which shows you just basic information. You click back, you go to the battery, it'll show you the state of charge, the voltage, any current that's coming in or out, the capacity. And what's really, really cool about this is you can see the cell voltage. So in real time, you can see what's going on with your battery. So it's uh, just a very, very powerful tool. And um, once you use a Bluetooth app, uh, you just, <laughs> you're not going to go back. So now let's get into the battery testing. So I charged it. It does allow up to 100 amps of charging. They recommend 20 amps. I used a 50 amp charger and it took that no problem. I'll go over the specs in a second, but I first want to talk about the testing. I started out with a capacity test. Now this has 1,280 watt hours of storage in it and 100 amp hours of capacity. It pulled way more than that, very impressive. 106 amp hours of capacity and 1,365 watt hours of energy. So it blew through the capacity test. Very, very impressive. Now let's jump into some of the specs. Uh, we already talked about the energy and the capacity. The charging voltage is suggested at 14.4. Recommended current charging, we already talked about that, but it's 20 amps. I already told you I did 50 amps, no problem. It can output a continuous charge of 100 amps, and we're going to do a load test and we'll test on that. Um, here's the size and the weight. It is a group 24, so it's a pretty small battery. And of course, it does have that um, low temperature protection on it. So um, let's hook it up to an uh, inverter and um, test it. And I I'm going to test this hard. I have high expectations for this battery. So I'm gonna push this battery really hard and see how well it performs. So let's get into that. So I now have the battery hooked up to what I affectionately call the Punisher. And that's because this inverter can output 7,000 watts of power. So it can really push any 12 volt battery to its limits. And that's what I wanna to do today. I wanna to see if it can output that 100 amps continuous for an extended period of time. And then I wanna see if it has over current protection, not over temperature protection, but actual over current protection, as in if a heavy load comes through, will the battery's internal BMS shut it down and protect it? So that's what we're gonna do, and the test starts now. Turn on. Now you can see I already have 124 amps coming out, so it's a very heavy load. Now this is over spec, so let's see how long it can do in really heavy, heavy load. Yeah, that was impressive. It did 125 amps for a minute without any problem. So now we've got a heavy load, but not a complete load on it. But that gives it a... Um, pretty high C rate load. I mean, that's 80% of rated power. So we'll see how long we can do this. 
So we're at the 15 minute mark and you can see it was doing almost 80 amps, no problems. Now I'm gonna raise the bar a little bit. I'm gonna turn on my heat gun. See we're at 60 or so. And I'm gonna see how long it can do over 100 amps. So I got my space heater on low. Now this is a real torture test. That's over 100 amps. Let's see if this can run for five minutes. So it easily handled north of 100 amps for five minutes, no problem. So I wanna do the final test. I'm gonna see if it shuts down under heavy, heavy load. So I'm going to turn everything back on, and we're going to push this thing hard. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. After a few seconds, the BMS tripped the over current protection, shut down and protected the battery. And you can see the battery's not hot. It wasn't over temperature protection. That is so critical because so many batteries have over temperature protection only. So they allow the battery to get really, really hot and it will be four, five, 10 minutes sometimes. And it is an incredibly big danger. But this battery has actual overcurrent protection. Now it has all the temperature protections you'd expect, but that overcurrent protection is absolutely critical. So let's go back over the battery. The capacity was excellent. It easily blew through the rated capacity. The output was outstanding. It held over 100 amps for an extended period of time. We just talked about the overcurrent protection and the temperature protection. So this battery really performed well. Now, another thing about buying a battery is you're also buying a company. So you don't want to get some generic company that's going to disappear on you. You want a company that's going to stand behind their warranty. First of all, offers a good warranty and is going to stand behind their warranty. Now, Dynas has been around for a while. They are an expert in the field of battery storage, so you know they're going to be there. Also, during this test, I had some questions about the battery, and they got back to me and answered all the questions I had. So the after-sales care and tension and support with this company is excellent. So this battery performed very well. I was very happy with the customer service. That's a great value. Also, if you are interested in buying this battery, click the link below. I do have a discount code. Get a little bit extra off the price. But uh, I, um, I like this battery. I would put it up there with um, my favorite batteries. Very impressed. So if you're considering a 12 volt, 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery, I would definitely check uh, this company out uh, and see if uh, it's a good fit for you. If anybody out there has used a different kind of battery or a different company um, or has an experience they'd like to share, love to hear your story. Please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to everyone real soon.